the dog balls or not? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what else I'm saying. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making some Valentine's vegan brownies. So it's going to be nice and easy, won't take long to cook, and a nice little treat for your loved one. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first step is you want to preheat your oven. So preheat it to 175. So first of all, what we're going to do is add two cups of flour. So we're just using normal all-purpose white flour today. Just put two tablespoons of white sugar in. You can use coconut sugar or brown sugar, it's up to you. Today I'm just using normal white sugar. Three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder. Today I'm just using Tesco normal cocoa powder. It's up to you what you want to use. This one is really nice and chocolatey. So next up we're going to use one teaspoon of baking powder, just a level teaspoon is fine, just like that, and straight in the bowl. Okay, so we're just going to mix this before we put in the wet ingredients, just make sure it's nice and combined. Add one cup of water into the mixture, what I'm going to do is add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, Now what we're going to do is add one cup of oil, or today we're just adding melted butter. I'm going to stir the mixture. So just make sure it's all combined together with the dry and the wet ingredients. Might take a little while just to get them all to be combined. If you do think you need some more uh, wet mixture, just add more oil to the mixture, or you can add more water if it's still looking a bit dry. Okay, so we've got our mixture all prepared here, it's all mixed. What we've just done is greased up a greaseproof paper, ready to go into our tin. It's up to you, whatever kind of dish you want to make your brownies in today. So we're just putting the mixture into the tin. Okay, just make sure it's nice and spread out evenly, pushing it into the corners. If you've got a nice flat spoon, then that'll be good to just spread it out so that it's ready to go into the oven. Just working it out into the edges of your dish. Okay, so now our mixture is nice and prepared. It's all flat, ready in the tray to go into the oven. So 20 to 30 minutes in the oven at 175. Three days later. Okay, so this is our brownie ready out of the oven. Make sure it cools. And then what you're going to do is, today we're being lazy and cheating a little bit. So we're using vanilla buttercream icing by Betty Crocker. And I'm gonna make it nice and pink on top today by mixing it with some frozen mixed berries. So what we wanna do is we just wanna mix them together. So I put a few tablespoons of the Betty Crocker icing and then a tablespoon of the raspberries and berries. So just mixing this together until it's a nice red colour. You'll see the juices of the berries coming through because obviously it's Valentine's Day so we want to have a pinky red icing on top of the brownies. Okay, so now we're just going to put the icing on the top of the brownie, just spreading it nice and evenly over the top. Make sure that your brownie's cooled. So now we're just going to put on some Valentine's decorations. So we've just got these little icing balls, just putting them on top, spreading them around. You can choose whatever you like to put on top, you can put on strawberries, chocolate, peanut butter, you can put on even Oreos or anything like that. But today we're just going to do some red and pink decorations on top and then we're going to sprinkle on some chocolate shavings as well.
Okay, now we've decorated our brownie, so now what we're just going to do is just cut it into slices. So that's us finished making our vegan brownies for Valentine's Day. Thank you for watching. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to like, comment down below what your favorite vegan treats are. And of course, subscribe to this channel to see more like this. So thanks for watching. Bye.